Hi! Recently we got some questions about Godot engine and we decided to create a series about Godot. So the goal of this video is to show you how you can create scene, how you can import some models, some textures and get them on your scene in your game. As you can see in this directory I have two folders, one with Godot engine and another one with my models and textures. Firstly let's start the Godot engine. So one cool thing about Godot Engine is that it starts really quickly, it compiles really quickly and it's so fast. So we don't need to wait for a few minutes here. I will create a new project here, but you know you always can use your own project if you already have one. So here we are. It's an empty scene, but there isn't actually a scene here, because there is no scene yet. To create a scene you can go to the left side menu and select create 3D scene and we will create 3D scene. Let's save it with scene, save scene. You can use Ctrl plus S as well. By default there are no folders, so let's create one and call it scenes. Let's save our scene there. Before importing our models, let's edit scene a little bit. We will add some primitives. Let's click right mouse button on the scene node. Here we should select a child node. And here we should search for CSG. I will select box as a primitive, but you can use sphere or cylinder or whatever, it doesn't really matter. It isn't that obvious right now, but actually our scene is missing any source of light. Let's add one, let's go to the same menu and search for directional light. It will be our sun. Now as you rotate this object around, you can see that not only shadows on the cube are changing, but also the sunlight is moving around the skybox. We are finally ready to import some assets. Let's create a new folder in our project with right click and create folder. Let's call it assets and here we will be importing all of our assets, models, textures, everything. We should drag our folder with assets into this folder. There will be a little bit of loading, but not much. You can see all of the assets are imported as separate objects. And after it's ended, we can go to this folder and drag them to our scene and see them. Everything worked perfectly, it's all with the right rotation, with the right scaling, with the right transform component, we don't have any non-uniform scale or any weird rotation by minus 90 degrees, so everything works correctly. But it is still missing color. As I mentioned before, in this folder we do have a texture map which is responsible for covering all of our objects. So let's use it for our material. I will create a new folder and call it materials. Now I will right click this folder and create a resource. And here I should search for standard materials 3D. Now I should select this material and find the property albedo. And here is my texture field. Let's select our texture. You can go to the load menu or drag it directly from the directory. We can select any of our assets. And if it's a complex object then we should go to this small button and press it. And now we can see all the children of this object. You can put the material into geometry section or just simply drag it on the object. After changing material you should save your object as a separate prefab as we cannot make any changes through Godot into FBX models. And that was it. So as you can see we have imported all of our models to this project and we assigned a texture to material and assigned the material to different objects and now you can see all of the objects colored. If you liked this tutorial, please like this video and subscribe to our channel to don't miss new tutorials about Godot. By the way, these assets are created by our studio called It Happy. You can visit our website linked in the description. We are creating wonderful assets for Unity, for Unreal and even for Godot. Check it out if you want to create a beautiful look like for your game. Now thanks for watching and have a nice day!